personal level. So, Lauren, we, before we went to break, we were talking about some of the challenges you know you face, what you've been through through this process, the last three years training as a professional MMA fighter. How are you overcoming adversity? You know, and I want to get into you know the actual process. You know, as far as you know when you train, like how often are you training, and what are your trainings like that you go through with Charlie each day? Are you training every day or every other yeah, day? Yeah, I am training every day. Um, from the moment I walked in the gym, I decided, you know, actually, if I go to back up, before I started training, I was doing nursing, yes. in-home health, um, full-time job. I was going to continue my nursing education. And then I decided, hey, you know, I want to take this shot at doing MMA. Yeah. So when I walked in there, I'm like, all right, like I'm at the right age, the right timing. Um, and I have one shot to just go for this. So basically, when I walked in there, I decided I'm going to train two days, six days a week, and make this a full-time job. That's amazing. So, so you I made kinda, a full commitment. Right, I made a full commitment. So, you know, there's some sacrifice to go along with that. But so far, everything has been worth it. Yeah, well, you know, that's interesting. And that's why I asked that question so our listeners and our viewers who are actually tuning in can really get an understanding. Because oftentimes, you know, people think that maybe you guys just roll out of bed <laughs> and go to the ring. You know, you might put a little time in here and there. But, you know, you made a conscious decision that you want to be the best at this. Right. And I get that sense from you when I watch you go out and fight. This isn't just something you're trying. Let me see how it goes or, you know, or maybe I'm just in it for the, the attention, et cetera. I really see your approach to this as like no different than a Kobe Bryant or a Michael Jordan. It's like, I'm going to put this work in. Yeah. And I'm going to put the time in to be one of the best. And I get that, that, that sense from you. So... For our listeners, hey, if you want to commit, sorry, if you want to accomplish big goals and dreams, you have to make that decision. Something will have to be sacrificed. Family time, mm -hmm. time away from friends, time away from going out. <clears throat> you know, at, I mean, you're 24, 25, right? Yeah. There's a lot of great things, I mean, great things 24, 25 year olds want to do on a weekend, whether that's the clubs or going out and you're bypassing that. Exactly. Just stay focused on one thing. And let's get to that. What's, what's the goal? You know, what are you, is it UFC? You know, who's, who's on your target right. radar? Who do you want to knock the hell out? No, I, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. I mean, UFC is uh, my goal. Okay. You know, that is where I want to be. And just through this journey, I want to be a very successful woman in this sport. Correct. And speaking of a successful woman, what's that process been like? Because, you know, we're in a sport with MMA fighters that's been heavily dominated over the last several years with uh, male fighters. A lot of great ones. And now we're starting to see the Misha, Misha Tates. Um, you know, I can go on and on. Uh, Ronda Rousey's, you know, these women that are now being the forefront for women in MMA fighting. What's it like for you since you've been involved? I mean, what kind of attention feedback are you getting? You know, it's it's um, an empowering feeling, to yeah. be honest. And just to prove to myself that I have that mental strength to um, go into such an intense sport that not everyone can do. Correct. You know, it takes a lot of physical strength, a lot of mental strength, and for me to come, um, overcome that every day and just to like keep pushing harder as an athlete and you know it's a great feeling yeah i mean you talk about the feeling i mean what is that feeling like coming off of a big win you know like recently now i would say that's that was a big win i watched right. the fight in the yeah. Win. yeah and then the young lady you fought uh let me go back what's her name her name was uh, Anna Anna Fitzpatrick, Fitzpatrick. right yeah. and really you know play. yeah Anna showed some some very elite skills in my opinion she threw a couple of kicks that most people if they landed they they'd be done it'd be <laughs> nighty night time and you know i saw you make two bobs you know and, and i'm like whoa i wasn't anticipating that and your skill level is very impressive to be honest with you okay. but what is it like coming off a big fight like a huge fight like that with a win how do you stay focused and motivated when you're going into this potentially fight coming up in october you know wins are nice yeah i'm going in there to ultimately get that win um but it's not all about the win correct for me it's about being an athlete it's about every time i go into that cage how can i better myself as an athlete correct um and that's what really motivates me, just trying to better myself every time and, and challenge my body. Yes. Do you ever have a lot of, pre do you ever feel pressure, you know, just as a female fighter and all that comes with being a hometown kid and, you know, your family and friends that are out there, do you feel a different type of pressure on you? How does it, how does it make you feel? I wouldn't really say pressure, but I definitely feel the love and support from everyone, Great. which makes this process a lot easier for me. Yeah, let's, makes talk, it worth it. let's talk about that. And I saw an interesting post that you, you uh, posted maybe about two Two weeks ago on your Facebook page and you
you, you know, you shared your personal experience from all of the people that were there that, that evening that watched you fight. There. And I was very, like, that was my first time going to an MMA fight. So I was like, like, whoa. They were like, people were really into it, yelling, screaming, standing right. up. <laughs> I mean, it was a little bit of everything. Mom, mom was getting into it. I was like, hey, <laughs> you know, mom's in the house, by the way. Um, shout out. So, you know, I'm watching it and seeing the energy levels that that's there. I never anticipated that's how a fight would be. You kind of come in, thought everybody's going to be sitting around and being quiet, but it's yeah. exciting. Yeah, yeah, it's it's very exciting. And 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 so, what is that like? You know, when I hear you writing this, you know, kind of like telling that story about, hey, this is what I'm experiencing, getting all the love and support from my family and friends, and and hearing what people are having to say about you. How does that make you feel? Well, I just, you know, I wanted to put that out there first so people understand how thankful I am. Yeah. Um, all these people that have crossed paths with me or just stand beside me as I enter into this fight journey and how far I've come already. And then all these people I'm meeting and their support, I just feel truly blessed. And I want them to realize, like, you guys are what makes this so fun for me. Correct. Not That's only do I enjoy it, but then when I'm walking out to the cage and I just can feel all that love and support yes. and cheering, like, that makes it worth it. The energy. Yeah, the energy. Yeah. So absolutely. you thrive off that. I, oh, yeah. Yes. That's a huge factor it's for you. It's a huge factor. Great. Well, you guys here, they keep supporting Lauren Mueller. Keep coming out to the fights. Um, you know, keep reaching out to her on social media. And speaking of social media, I mean, it's obviously we're in an age now where that's how people communicate and connect. You know, I've done a lot of my networking and business development through social media. How do people reach you? How can they be connected to you and follow you and be a part of this process of rooting you on and, um, you know, helping you as you grow in this, in this, in this new, right. you know, new endeavor for yourself? Yeah, if people want to follow, you know, my fight journey, they definitely can add me on social media. Okay. Facebook, it's my name, Lauren Mueller. Okay. Um, Instagram, Princess Tiger 51 Okay, I want to get into that. I don't know where that came from. So go ahead and finish up. Um, I would love the ad. I definitely, if people comment to me, I'll respond to you. And yeah, you can just follow my journey, upcoming fights, all that information I'll be yeah. posting. And fellas, don't be harassing her, okay? <laughs> <laughs> she got to stay focused on her fight. Too. So let's get back to the Princess 51, right? Right. Where did that come from? How did you come up with that name? Okay, there's a couple things. Okay. Princess has kind of followed me for a while. Um, I've always been an athlete playing different sports, mm -hmm. and I've gotten the princess card quite a bit because I am feminine. I'm a girly girl. Correct. I dress up. I like to look pretty for myself. Correct. You know, just feel good. But I also can get down and play sports. I did motocross, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, but then also before, my it was actually my first pro fight. I was getting ready to weigh in, and I'm in my bikini, getting ready to get on the scales, and I had to cut a little more weight, and the opponent goes, where's this princess at? Like, is she ready yet? Yeah. So that's kind of where that stems from, <laughs> too. Like, okay, now I'm not just Tiger, but I'm Princess Tiger. Like, right. Um, <laughs> so, Charlie, how do you deal with the Princess Tiger, the, or the Princess uh, 51? I mean, oh, she, well, she's, like I said, she's a little bit of both. I mean, but just good. I mean, she is a girly girl. I mean, she's yeah. not, like, there's a lot of different women in this sport. And you could, I mean, some of them, you're like, whoa. Yeah. What's going on here? And then she's she's feminine, and she she fights the way she's supposed to fight. I mean, she fights tough. I mean, right. I mean, you ask any guys in the gym, she fights like a dude. Yes. And But she looks like a woman. Yes. And, and that's, that's, not, so that's not coming. That's, you don't normally yeah, see that. Not, not, not a lot. I mean, they, well, there's both. I mean, the yeah. sport. And sometimes if they're too much one way or the other, it's like, okay, there's, there's a little bit of off balance. And she's got both, which is super important. I mean, for the marketing part of it, also just just the fighting part of it, you know. And, and uh, uh, like I said, she's a girl, but she fights like a dude. Yes. Which is, she punches like a dude. I mean, look, look at my hands. <laughs> my hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> beat me up all night last yeah. night. So, yeah, she's got both. So, in, in watching her development from the time she's come in and started training with you, what have you what have you witnessed and what have you seen with her skill and, and how she's grown? Well, you know, she came in raw. She didn't know anything. Like, a lot of people come in with me with a little bit of uh, um, different... Uh, different martial arts and anything else and, and there's some sports background and she didn't come out too much and, and I knew she was a clean slate so it's going to be easy for me to mold her as long as she listened to it so I was looking for uh, commitment and also work ethic and and uh, okay well your support system you know like if you say you want to be a fighter you have to be lucky to fight you got to be lucky to be a pro career athlete I mean you have to have everything in your life pretty much line up. line up yep. I mean your support system your injuries I say where are your injuries at no major injuries you know not 
lying in a relationship, which is pretty much an injury. You know? <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, you yeah. got a great support system with your family. Yeah. You know, you got people here that are going to work with you. You got good training partners here. You get right. the gyms open all the time. So it's like, okay, you got all these things. And the more important thing is like, okay, you got, you got commitment, you got work ethic, and then what I look for is too is character and and integrity. You know, like are, you're gonna represent us. Yes. We're gonna be in your corner. How how are you gonna deal with these things? Correct. And how are you gonna train? You know, we're just not gonna train anybody walking off the street for this. Correct. And spend a lot of time with you. Yes. And if I commit to you, you're gonna get more than what you need. But I need to see what what you're gonna do. People tell me all the time, "Hey, I wanna fight. I wanna fight. Is cool." Yeah. Like I said, that's that's cool. But wanting to, willing to is the different. She made a commitment. I can't get rid of it for nine months. <laughs> <laughs> She took like three days off in nine months. She was there twice wow. a day. I'm like, whoa. Three days off in nine months, you know? Three it's days off. Yeah, it's serious from and, the beginning. And this is no compensate. Like, this is just putting the time in, right? Right. Yeah, yeah we're talking yeah. hours in the day, in the morning, yes. and they come back hours at night. And, I mean, it's not like all, like, our gym is, is nice, but it's like, okay, you're going to go around with stinky dudes and gloves, and you're going to sweat and get nasty. And it's just like, this is a really tough so sports night. going to be like a little fitness area. Yeah, where you know, yeah. see some chance and girls jump around and you know punch things and they don't get hit back. You're gonna get hit at a place too if, yeah. you, if you know when you get to that level. Yeah. If you want to fight, not everybody wants to fight or to say they get they want to fight. We punch. It's just sure. it's not what you want. You know, you, you're gonna get what you you know where you're at. But where at the same at. time, um, yeah, she her skill level. Um, she she listens very good. Yeah, she, she's very coachable. That's why I was asked. What other sports have you played? What have you done? What have you been coached in? So otherwise, like I don't know how you can re respond to some of these things and the, and the ups and downs, mm -hmm. and criticism, mm -hmm. and the hard times, the good times. Because you're gonna need that. I'm I'm not an easy coach to yeah to uh to train under. So I didn't even know that before we get there. So yeah. you break break down and run out the door. So how's she now with that? She's still yeah. here. She's still here. Yeah. yeah she's still here. Still still here. Still <laughs> still winning. Still winning. I mean, yeah. you know, not a lot of people to take that, you yeah. know. But it's all, it's, all, it's all for the benefit of of, of her, yes. which is great for the greater benefit for which is us as yes. a team, you know. So we're going to put her first when she's getting ready, and, and uh, she knows that we're going to be behind her, you know. Okay, well, I love it. I mean, this is some great. I hope you guys that are listening are enjoying this. And uh, before we go to break, uh, we'll talk about when we come back getting hit. Okay. That, that's what I want to know is how you deal with that and, and how you're avoiding getting hit so much. So we have a few bills to pay, and we'll We'll be right back.